Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a spring themed rose gal haul. I have done a lot of rose gal hauls on my channel over the last couple of years. I'll link them up here throughout this video if you want to go and check them out. But in today's haul we are focusing solely on springtime and summer themed clothing because it is fast approaching for us. Just hopefully the weather starts to look up in the UK because it's just so rainy right now and I'm starting to think that we'll never get any sunshine or any summer for me to wear any of these outfits but I'm excited to get in the spring and summer mood today with this haul. We've got a lot of dresses, I think nearly all of these items are actually dresses except for like maybe two items. This haul is going to be giving you all of the spring and summer vibes that you might need so if you've been looking for that then you clicked on the right video. So without much further ado let's get on with today's video. So we're starting off with this white and lilac lacy dress. This was one of Rose Gal's new arrivals when I did this order and honestly I was really drawn to it because it gave me kawaii fashion sort of vibes. Lilac is one of my favourite colours as well so yeah obviously I was drawn to it because of that and also white and lilac are such a good colour combination. And look at that lace detailing on the back, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I just was really drawn to it because of the colours mainly. I got this dress in a size 3X, just note that there's absolutely no stretch to the fabric whatsoever. It's roomy starting from the waist down, like around the stomach area, and that's because of how flowy the skirt is. The floral pattern is definitely giving summer vibes here. This is definitely a summery sort of dress. And I actually had to film the footage of this twice because I didn't realise that the white part of the dress acted as like a separate dress. Like it's attached to the purple lace part, but it also has spaghetti straps as if like it was originally supposed to be a cami dress and then the lace part was just an afterthought. Like you can see what I mean from back there, like it has a like completely separate part of the dress that's just loose. And the first time I tried it on, I didn't realise that I had these spaghetti straps and they were like underneath my armpits. So personally, I just thought that was a little bit unnecessary, but that's the truth that just me being nitpicky, like that is barely anything. I just didn't even notice that to begin with. But apart from that, the dress as a whole, I just love it so much. It fits perfectly. A 3X was the perfect size to get for me. And I also love the lace detailings, like the lace at the back and on the arms. So pretty. And the keyhole opening at the front with the little silver embellishment, I think that's such a cute addition as well. There's lots of nice cutesy details on this dress that just make it super cute. So we're now on to the next dress, this pink and black one. Again, I was really drawn to this because of the colour combination. Black and pale pink is definitely one of my favourites. It's really giving pastel goth sort of vibes. And similar to the last dress, it's got the same sort of thing going on where it has like a cami built into the dress, but the cardigan is attached to the dress. I just don't understand that personally. Just having those spaghetti straps underneath like a top or a cardigan just seems so fiddly to me. And I think they're adjustable as well. And I don't understand why they're adjustable because it's a fixed fit anyways with the top or the cardigan. But despite that, I managed to get it on okay, and I got this one in a size 3X also, and it was a perfect fit. It fits very comfortably. The fabric for this one is definitely more stretchy and just more roomy to be in. Another design choice which I'm not particularly fond of is the fact that the lace at the hem is at the front but not at the back. I think that's really strange and it kind of makes it look a little bit incomplete if you know what I mean. But again, that's just me being nitpicky. Honestly, all together is such a cute dress and I love the colour combination and it's definitely given pastel goth like I said earlier. But I definitely can't help but think there's a couple of like design choices here that just feel kind of random, if you know what I mean. It's also kind of long on me, which I kind of expected to be honest because of my height. I also totally forgot at the time of filming this that this did have a belt to go with it and I totally forgot to feature it. But honestly, I don't think it needs a belt because it sort of cinches in under my bust and I feel like a belt would look kind of random with this dress in particular. Overall, it's a very pretty dress. I do love the lace detailings. I do wish they put that lace detail in around the back hem of the dress as well, because to me, that way it look more complete. I also love the lacing and the little gems on the cardigan as well. That's so cute. And I just love the color combination in general. It's a very pretty dress. It's just a couple of things that I was a little unsure of. So the next four dresses that I'm showing you guys are the exact same dress, except they have different patterns. 
And if you've watched some of my other Rose Girl hauls on my channel, you'll know that I've actually tried this style dress before. I've got a lot of these style dresses in my wardrobe. This one with the crisscross design across the bust and the two straps built into it, like I have a lot of these dresses. And that's because they sit really nice on me. They really fit well with my body shape and they come in all sorts of different patterns as well. And they're really good for styling with because I can style them with all sorts of different stuff like tights, cardigans, shoes and bags. And they're just really easy to style with too. So this first one that I got is definitely giving me garden fairy, fairy core sort of vibes and it's this one with a butterfly and dragonfly pattern all the way around it. And I'm not really sure what to call the main colour of this dress, it's sort of a light brownish beige sort of colour. But as you can see this dress is super stretchy, I like that it's super stretchy because that means it's more comfortable and more breathable to be in. Also the length of it is perfect for me as well, it sits at knee length on me, so not too long that it will hide tights if I do choose to pair this with a pair of tights just to spice up the outfit and I don't think I've mentioned this yet but I got this dress in a size 3x and I got it in a 3x for all the other dresses that I'm going to be showing you guys as well. I think it's important to note with Rose Gal is that a lot of their clothing do come up a lot bigger because their clothing is stretchy. Yeah, they've definitely been made with plus size people in mind because I always feel like I prefer something with a bit more stretch into it, you know, so I feel like I can breathe better, I can move around better, you know. I think what makes these dresses unique as well is the crisscross design on the bust at the front and also the two straps. It just adds something a little different to the dress rather than making it just a normal boring cami dress they sort of added a couple of more additions to make it different which i like okay so we're moving straight on to the second one and i didn't feature me showing it on the hanger because it's literally just the same as the other dress it's just a different pattern this dress is definitely giving me more cutesy kawaii sort of vibes if you added more accessories to it you could definitely turn this into a kawaii style sort of outfit the pattern is on the front and the back of the dress and it features these pink roses and leaves and it just looks so cutesy and very summery as well. So this would make the perfect summer dress on its own. Again, I got this in a size 3X and it fits great, it's stretchy, it's roomy, it's comfortable. Basically the exact same fit as the previous dress I showed you guys but it's a different pattern. And this one is definitely giving me summery vibes or if you're into kawaii fashion you can definitely turn this into a kawaii type of outfit. Okay so this next pattern is given spring because of the sunflower pattern. I was so drawn to this because of how bright and beautiful the colours were. It's definitely given spring. It is. It's definitely a springtime dress. With all of these dresses that I've showed you guys so far, I already have visions in my head on how I'm going to style these. Like these are definitely not going to be worn on their own. I love to accessorize my outfits these days and I'm definitely going to be pairing these with cardigans, tights and all that sort of stuff. I'm definitely thinking of pairing these with yellow tights. I got yellow tights recently and they would look so good with this sunflower pattern dress just overall i love how bold and beautiful and colorful this dress is it's definitely going to be so good for spring so good for the next few months as we start to see more sun and we hopefully start to witness more brighter days but yeah as you can tell i am a huge fan of this one okay so we're now on to the last one of these style dresses that i want to show you guys so i would got four of these dresses all in a 3x and for just the last time, I just want to reiterate how comfortable, stretchy, roomy and breathable all of these dresses are. Perfect for the spring and summer months that are fast approaching us. This one in particular is definitely giving me pastel goth vibes because of the skulls and also the flowers. The colour combination, there's grey, black and pale pink here and that is just classic pastel goth vibes. I love how vibrant and bright the patterns are on these. I think that's what draws me to them is because of how bright and colourful all of them are. And I just love anything with a busy pattern, to be honest. All of these dresses are definitely for me. So this next item, this plain black cardigan, I actually got to pair with some of these dresses that I just showed you guys. In particular, the skull and crossbones one and the butterfly one that I showed you to begin with. I got this cardigan in size 3X and it's just a plain black crossbones cardigan that I thought would go with a lot of these dresses or any other dress that I've got and sort of spice up the outfit. 
it fits perfectly and in the way that I imagined it to as well. It's just a simple cardigan. It sort of has a scoop effect around the hem. And also I feel like it goes really nicely with this dress since there's some black colours in the dress. I thought that this cardigan would definitely go really well with it. And this is the dress that I initially got this cardigan for but I also feel like the cardigan would go with that butterfly one that I showed you guys too. The fabric is stretchy as well which is always nice because that means it's more comfortable to wear. And also it's a light material as well so it's not too heavy to put on over the top of a dress. It's more like a light cardigan that you'd wear during the springtime. I also really like the small lace detailings around the hem of the cardigan which literally go all the way around from the neck right down to the bottom of the hem. It just makes it stand out more and makes it look a lot more cutesy as well which is my style so that's perfect. So these next couple of clothing items that I'm going to be showing you guys are part of a tankini set. I know tankinis are really in right now and before anybody says anything I just want to say that I've always loved tankinis and I've always worn them and preferred them over bikinis. So no, I'm not just following the trend here <laughs> because I don't follow trends. I just go with what I like personally. And I was just very drawn to this set because it's giving me mermaid sort of vibes. I'm just loving the pattern on the tankini itself with the seahorses and the starfish. So this set consists of a tankini top, tankini bottoms and a maxi cover up skirt. I absolutely love the tankini top. I love the split down the middle. It's definitely giving mermaid vibes. It's giving a very unique sort of twist to the tankini. And the top fits me really well, but the cover up skirt and the tankini bottoms are really, really loose on me. And that's because I picked the wrong size. I got this in a size 4x and I meant to get it in a 3x. The skirt was really baggy and it barely stayed up on me and the bikini bottoms were better like you could probably see in the next clip but when I turn around and show you guys the back you can see how baggy they are on me and it just doesn't fit me right. But the tankini top fits me perfectly and I love the cut of it as well. It just looks lovely and also it has adjustable straps and we always love a top with adjustable straps. Honestly I feel like I could just wear this as a summer top just on its own. So this next item kind of didn't turn out the way that I expected it to. I thought it was going to be more of a dress but it's more of a top. And this is actually part of a lingerie set and it did come with a thong but I got it mainly for the top or what I thought was going to be a dress. But it is way too short to be dress as you guys will see in the next clip. There we are. And I'm wearing a black bra underneath this and cycling shorts which seem to go quite well with it actually. And I'm not sure what occasion I would wear this for. I feel like I'm might be able to style this with an outfit and maybe tuck it into a black skirt or something like that. Yeah, for like a gothic style sort of outfit, I've got bat pattern platform shoes that would go amazingly with this. But yeah, I really wish they had a dress but in this pattern because black and purple, one of my favourite colour combinations ever. I just wish this existed as a dress. I don't think I've mentioned this yet but I got this in a size 3x. I also just noticed that this has a design similar to the dress that I showed you guys at the beginning with the lace at the front of the hem but not at the back of the hem. A nitpicky thing to point out but I was going to point it out anyways because it does annoy me slightly. It has adjustable straps too which is handy and it also has a little tie front there as well. I don't think I mentioned that. You can tie that up but I don't think it actually does anything. I think it's just a bit of decoration and honestly I feel like I'll be able to work an outfit with this because I just love the pattern so much and I think paired with a black skirt it would go really nice. So that is everything that I've got to review for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out my YouTube channel and if you're interested in plus size fashion, beauty and makeup then remember to subscribe to my channel because that is everything that I do here and if you like look of anything that I reviewed in today's haul I'll link everything in the description box below for you guys and I do have a code with Rose Gal to get you a discount off your next order with them. It is Abby20 for 20% off Rose Gal and go ahead to use that to get some money off your next order. If you want to check out any of my other social medias including Snapchat, Facebook or Instagram there'll be a link to my link tree in the description box below for you guys as well if you want to check out any of those. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!